So hi everyone, my name is Jalice and this is Infinite Modesty Design. Of course who we are, we are a Toronto sewing and fashion brand. We teach sewing classes to, a uh, sewing and fashion class of course, to beginners to advanced. We have online sewing classes, also we have in-studio sewing class in Toronto. So definitely click the link in the description below if you want to join our online sewing class. And of course if you're in Toronto and you want to come to our studio to learn as a beginner, no problem as well, you are warmly welcome. Now, what I want you to do right now is to kindly click the link in the description below. Of course, subscribe to our sewing channel. Uh, definitely go ahead and share our channel and also ring the notification bell to get more videos like this one. So what we're going to be doing here is just doing a sewing tutorial on how to make this blouse and how you could always play around with your blouse. So let's get, let's get started. Here you go. Okay, so I'm just making myself a little princess uh, blouse. I cut it out this evening and uh, freehand and I just wanted to, to be honest with you, we are actually doing this together because I just had a start in my head and I decided I'm going to cut it out and see how it end up. So, yeah. Okay, so let me explain what I'm doing here. So this is the this is a blouse, this is the front of the blouse. This is my lining I'm gonna put in the blouse. Usually I will put them in the face, but I just decided no, I'm just gonna make a light, light weight lining. I'm not gonna put anything additional. So this is the blouse. I put the lining over the blouse. So this is the right side of the blouse. So I'm sewing the lining on the right side of the blouse at the neckline. And then the princess part of the blouse is here. Right, so this is the right side here to join here. And this is the other side here, right? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just to go ahead and sew this, um, I think half an inch I leave, so yeah, half an inch. So I'm gonna sew it right now, half an inch. I just said I want me a blouse, so we'll see how it looks. All right, so I'm just gonna do half an inch. So I sew me down half an inch. And then what I want to do here now is just trim the, neck, the neckline. So the stitches actually didn't go as tailored as I wanted to, but it's all good. Okay, so once I did it now, I'm going to just go ahead and do an under stitch. So this would actually stay down. Put a Honda stitch right at the neckline here. So we should stay down. Okay, so what you could go ahead and do is to iron it. Perfect. Now, what I want to go ahead and do now, just to make sure that this my line is a little bit straight. Let me just turn it this way to make sure it's straight, because it has to be straight. Actually, not a little bit. It have to be straight. As you can see, this need ironing, but I am not gonna iron it down. Uh, 
But if you're also doing that for yourself, you definitely need to iron it out, right? I just love the material here. Okay. So I did cut it um, knowing that the the fabric here, the lining here actually needs to be um, ironed. So I'm just going to trim out all the extra. I cut it today with the intention of wearing it. It's around 2 o'clock in the morning also. But once I know this is okay, I could just go ahead and nicely slide it around. Good stuff. Okay, and I want to iron this and take out all this as we go along. Okay, so let's go ahead and just put this piece down. So, to make sure you know it properly, you just could just put this on this side. And you put that on this side. Right? And then you turn it this way. And you go on your machine now and you sew it down from here all the way down. So that's what we're going to be doing now. So from here, sew it down from here all the way down. So right sides touching right sides. I'm going to take it right here and sew it down. And I'm just going to do half an inch because that's I just do the side princess, so not fully busty. It's a light, quick something to wear. So same thing here. Just on this side, and I'm gonna sew it down.
I just wanted to be a simple blouse. So. And we have the back piece now. On the back piece is just a one piece. So the back piece are facing. The front piece I made it with lining and the back piece I made it with facing. Don't ask me why. I just did. <laughs> so. Alright, so with well, the facing, I'm just gonna make the facing. And again, it's a one piece. So, so I'm gonna put the facing right sides to right sides and I'm just gonna sew it down. Actually, you know what, I want to just go ahead and iron everything down. Side. This is my front here. So I make it a little bit spacey because I want I want some room in it and I can play around with how much I want to bring it in and, and stuff like that. So this is front and this is my back. the machine I'm just gonna pin one edge here make sure I get it nice and straight here I'm gonna sew it down I'll just sew it down up to here so I don't have an inch.
Okay, so this here is done, All right? And what I could do, could do it in time. I saw this down. I think I had one inch. Because I had a lot of easing because I want to make sure it's fully eased up. So I make it really big. So just to So far, that's how it is so far. I know it looks really big, but I did that so I can work on trimming it down a bit. I kind of put a, little, a lot of extra easing, a lot of extra of everything, so I can work it the way I want it because it's my blouse. Yeah, so, so I'm going to get a pin here. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do now is to work the pins, is to, sorry, just to work the armhole out and all that. Okay, so now we're going to put in the sleeves. So just finish trimming all the sleeves. So what I'm going to do here, I want to make a little style. So one of the sleeve I wouldn't put anything and another sleeve I'll put a little ruffle. So the ruffle is very easy to make. You just get a long piece of fabric and you just gather it together. I didn't even do any big time measurement. Um, I think the length... The width of the fabric was like about maybe six because I bent it in here and then I just hem it all around that's pretty much it and then I just gather it in so as I gather it in now I fit it to the edge of the sleeves all right I just fit it in just for style it's nothing that I see um, any particular way I just wanted to put a little extra something something so that's pretty much it so that's one side of the sleeve and then the other side gonna be just plain all right, so you could go ahead now and you could pin your sleeve. So that's just, you know, making your own thing and seeing how it come out, right? Then you're going to pin the sleeve right sides together. So the right side of my sleeve, see, this is the side that I was going to be, right? And also you want to hem your sleeve as well, right? You want to hem the end of the sleeve. Make sure all thing is all clean. And then you pin the sleeve on the side here. So you pin the sleeve on the side here and you sew it up. Okay, so once I've done that, I'll show you guys how it looks. Okay, so now the sleeve is done. So you see we have this one here. And just make sure everything is, we seal the hem in uh, here. And then this one here, just like that. Well, we'll just add this and like I said, it's just a gather. So this side was a little bit more. And this one is a little bit less. You could also go ahead and play, it, play around. So this is just a gather. So it, it was a piece of fabric and I do needle and thread and I gather it in so it gets smaller and I fit it so I just get a longer piece okay. so that's just simple we'll see how it looks anyway and then so everything is done and then I made this fabulous rose here so I just kind of tuck it down here right so there should be a link somewhere uh, or you would definitely be able to see um, how I make the rose itself 
So either there's a link in the description or a link somewhere there around the video to see how we actually make these rolls. So that's just another applique there. All right, so the last thing I have to do over here now is just to go ahead on the machine and just, I could just double hem. So just, just double bend, sorry. So you could bend half an inch, half an inch again, and you'll seal it down so it would be nice and pretty. So that's what we're going ahead and do right now. And we're pretty much done our blouse. Okay, so all done. So we all seal here. See, I just bend it so you can seal nicely here. Okay, all right. So this is the final work. Our sleeve, our rolls, our rolls. You could, I could always take out the rolls. I just kind of tuck it down with a pin here, to kind of make it look proper for camera. <laughs> and then, all right. So this here, it's all done. Okay. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now? We're gonna go ahead and put it on the mannequin. So. Just gonna turn the back. So the back is just a plain blouse, right? See, very, very easy, very simple blouse. No zipper, no nothing. Just something simple. Throw over, bada boom, bada bay. All right. So we'll see how it looks now on the mannequin. So, all right. So we have a little frill here. There's no, there's no law that you can have a frill on your sleeve, of course. So we have this frill here, and we decide on this one just to keep it plain, you know what I mean? Then we have a little DIY rose here, and of course, and this is all freehand, guys. This is not a pattern I use or anything like that. I just decided to make me a blouse, and there you go. All right, so for the skirt here now, we do have a skirt making class online. So that's one of the skirt. So of course you could get your own material, so you don't have to be that, that, that material. It could be any type of material, of course, right? And we do have, you could make pockets. So if you never even smell pockets before, definitely you'll be a pro after you take our class. So of course, to find out more about uh, joining our online class, definitely click the link in the description below. And our in-studio class, definitely contact us.